How did you feel about um, Vlad going after you? I loved it. I saw the lineup immediately. Right. Especially when I saw the lawyer, Ariel, kid that came after. Right. What Pierce did was brilliant journalism. Right. He created a beef without there being one. And he created multiple episodes for confrontation <laughs> after. It's brilliant. It is, uh, uh, Vlad had said, um, you're a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. He has never wanted you on a show. He Ever. He out to you. You know what? Hold up. Drum roll. Where do I find that receipt? Oh, 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 we got, is there? On the email. Let me check. There's receipts? No, I, it's on your YouTube, right? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. let me go over here to my baby's channel, Set in the West. We're going to, okay, here we go. Yes. All righty. See, there's a receipt. And this is what I love when people say, she never has any receipts. Yeah. She don't have any receipts. Everyone knew she was the devil. Everyone wanted to go to these white parties uh, when they were happy. If I got an invite, I would go. But there's a party within a party. This has been a fist of tyranny that has been punching for decades. It must stop. Mm -hmm. stop. Jaguar Wright is known to be a conspiracy theorist. Yeah, no, you're wrong. Vlad. Hey. Vlad, he's not a journalist at all. He's a chronologist. Vlad, you know you're wrong. Honey, you should have talked. For real, because he said he would never sit with us. No, 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 I know. Never. He said he would never sit with me. He would never have me on his He never wanted to talk to me. He never would. But I got receipts. Vlad, <laughs> why did you reach out to Jag back in June asking for Jag to be on the show? Why you do that, Vlad? <laughs> <laughs> Vlad, why are you playing in our face? Why you lying? Why are you lying on why are you this podcast? And Vlad, and your fat ass wife. We'll stop there. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Let's be very clear. This is the email that DJ Vlad sent me, his producer sent me, asking me to appear on his podcast on YouTube just after the Cassie video was released on my birthday. I saw it. I never responded. Odell responded weeks and weeks later. But then again, Diddy was already in trouble, so you really didn't need to talk to me because you couldn't do much, much disinformation with me. I guess that's why your friend from the Star Report, or should I say the Comet Report, because he crashed out just like a comet. <laughs> I guess that's why he was so upset when I started asking him relevant questions about why he's propping up a liar. At this point in time, Vlad, I think it's only fair to say that Carol Johnson, your assistant, unless you're saying you didn't know, she sent this on your behalf. You, you, you did want me on your show. I mean, which makes sense. Uh, it, for the kind of content he chased, yeah. It, it makes He's always sense. looking to put a case on somebody to yeah. move them out of the way. With that being said, was it was it stated that you weren't going to rebuttal Vlad, Vlad at that time? Did they let you know? I didn't even know Vlad was going to be on. Oh. Like I said, it was brilliant. Wow. Because everything that he said, denouncing me and then confirming me and then talking about, oh, da, 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 that all happened a day before the report about the nine-year-old boy was released. Mm. And before people started confirming that the video that was being shopped around was Bieber and Diddy. See, that's the problem with running your mouth, Vlad. That's the problem. You, you didn't realize on Monday that every word that you said was going to be invalidated on Tuesday. See, that's what happens when you're a liar. See, I didn't have to worry about what I said on Monday. Because I knew what I said on Monday was going to hold up on Wednesday. The truth needs no support, just time and room. 
why do you think Vlad has been allowed to take root in our culture and be able to do as many things as he's been able to do? I believe, in my opinion, that he is an information, a disinformation agent. I think the reason why it's hard for anyone to attach him to any American agency is because he isn't a part of any American agency. I have reason to believe that he is Mossad, mm. Israeli intelligence background. I mean, you were born in that region, or at least your people come from that region. Mm. You marry a black woman, you know, get your little black sympathy, get into the culture a little bit, act like you want to make black people famous and you care about this and that. I remember when you started, Vlad. You want to know what was funny? A friend of mine that worked for Homeland Security told me to never sit with you because this isn't the first time you reached out to me, Vlad. You reached out to me in 2008 after me and Mr. Carter had a very, very, very unfortunate incident. Your life is about as, um, and, and your background, it's, it, it, it's about as easily tracked as Barack Obama's. That's pretty tracked. Yeah. Like there, there's something very wrong with you. And not only that, let's look at the list of SA predators you're involved with in business currently. You're being um, championed as a friend by the Comet Report, who was thrown off of radio for threatening to assault. S.A., a four-year-old child. His partner, I know for a fact, committed statutory S.A. And I feel bad because I talked that girl out of filing her report like she wanted to with the police. Because you told me you were, she was, she was a liar, Buck. You, you told me all of that. Like the both of y'all got some weird history. And then, Vlad, you do a podcast with a Hollywood plant who was convicted of child grooming and essay and all of that. And his name is Aries Spears. You get the pervert, pervert, pervert. You get birds of a feather flock together. And then D.L. Hughley, you, you have him as a running guy on your show. And everybody knows what Monique told us all about how he let his friend essay his daughter and refused to believe his daughter until the money ran out and then all of a sudden you found something wrong with it. Like everyone in your orbit, Vlad, is a weirdo. And you're white. You, you you don't even look remotely hip hop. Nigga, you look like you should have like done the reprisal for Fiddler on the Roof. You act like that running around from tin rooftop to tin rooftop playing your little weirdo music. You know, that was based um that whole movie, The Fiddler on the Roof. That came out of Eastern Europe right on the edge of Russia, where your people are from. Mm. 